In this lesson, we're going to learn all about our next group of viruses, the Togaviridae family of viruses. Don't forget your compass, because we're taking this toga party in a whole new direction. First, a little bit of taxonomy. Let's familiarize ourselves with the Togaviridae family tree. We're going to be kind of obvious here and symbolize Togaviridae with this toga-clad merchant. The Togaviridae family previously had two major branches, or genera. The alpha virus genus and the ruby virus genus, containing the rubella virus species. However, the taxonomy experts have now moved rubella to the Matonaviridae family, so it will be covered there. The alpha virus genus includes quite a lot of viruses, most of which will represent by these acme goods. The clinically important viruses are the three major arthropod-borne equine encephalidides, represented by these horse mosquitoes, and chikungunya virus, represented by this chicken-containing gunny sac. Unlike the encephalitis-causing viruses, chikungunya virus is so named because it causes arthralgias. But, so as not to put our proverbial cart before the horse, let's go over a few basics first. Our warm and sunny scene should clue you in that all viruses in the Togaviridae family are RNA viruses, with a single positive sense strand. Another thing to know is that these viruses are enveloped, and you can remember that because toga is the Latin word for cloak. When you picture a toga virus, think icosahedral, like this beautiful icosahedral lantern. In fact, both the capsid and the envelope are icosahedral shaped. 